Hi there, everyone, and welcome to the final edition of the FDU Softball Report for this season here on FDUnites.com. John Lauder, along with the head coach of the FDU Softball team, Candy Letts. Coach, how are you? Great, John. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Let's talk about the NEC tournament. It was your first tournament appearance in the history of this program. First of all, what did that mean to you, to the athletes, and you think to the school as a whole for FDU to finally make it into postseason play? Well, I think it, it's a tribute to the hard work that the young student athletes have put in, the time, the effort, the mentality to really find a way to get there. And what do you think the experience was, was like for your players? I mean, they were playing three very good teams, obviously, though the result wasn't what you guys had hoped for. What do you think the experience was like for them? Well, the experience will set up for the future teams that come through here. And, and um, just a taste of it, just to figure out what it's all about, I think that might have been just a little overwhelming, not to the fact that we couldn't play with those teams and couldn't have won it, but just getting a taste of what it really is like. It does change from the regular season to the postseason. So we learned that. It's a valuable lesson to get back next year. Now, it was a double elimination tournament. We'll look at the first game, the loss 3-0 to CCSU. More impressive pitching from Laura Messina. What were your thoughts from that first game? Yeah, Messina had a lot of confidence against us, and I think that's something that we'll have to get better at because she's back another year, is learn how to make our adjustments to really attack her in her weakness. And she kept attacking us in our weakness, so we have to learn to, to make sure that we change that and adjust to that. And But the girls came in with a good mindset to play well, and, and they're an experienced team. They went to the NCAAs last year and, and won a game. So we knew that getting through them, if we got through them, then it would be – good for us but uh, we had to get through them first and they just had a better game and then LIU they win that second game 7-2 you guys got a couple of runs on the board but once again not enough offense and the Blackbirds were able to take advantage and and get some opportunities for them to get some runs on the board yeah you know they they were very confident coming in um, and you know they they played well and they have the experience and some of their players have been there and a coach who's been there many many times and wanted you know however we you know we felt like we were just as good of the, as the, as them but we just didn't get things in timely order and um, they just they got hot and actually that was the best they've hit all year it was in that NEC tournament so you give them a lot of credit and how important is it to get hot because Going into the postseason, the last seven, eight, nine games, your team was playing arguably the best they've played all year, but then LIU gets hot and they get the win. How important is that to just be kind of playing well at the right time or even just to kind of catch lightning in a bottle? Well, you know, like what we've worked on all year is not the best team doesn't always win. The team that plays the best is. And sometimes when you're in a position, too, that, uh, you know, it, it's, you know, losing is not, not a bad thing and and when you're not expected to win sometimes you just play loose and then when you start things start to click for whatever reason then you just catch fire a little bit and I think that was LIU I think they just caught fire because they were like hey if we win we win and we don't we don't but you know we got here and and all of a sudden things start they start putting things together and they just ran with it. Now Megan Reiner pitched great all season long struggled a little bit in the tournament what do you think was the difference for her in those two games? Um, I think teams really really worked on knowing what Megan was pitching um, and they really obviously focused on it because I thought Central came in, came in, coming into the um, game had a game plan against Megan. I mean there's no doubt about it that the way they were attacking the ball in, in her best pitch which is a changeup and everything else sets up that changeup. They were ready for it. They've been practicing it and you could tell that they were ready for it and, and I think that they did a good job executing it and, and like you said we just didn't muster up anything offensively to help her but Megan pitched a great game but they, they just put the ball play when they had to. Now you lose the two seniors and Liz White, Samantha Lem, but everybody else comes back. What do you expect to see from the team next season? You know, I think we'll obviously be more athletic, another year older, so our, our younger players get a more year older. They understand how to play the game a little bit better and a little differently with their athleticism. And that taste of getting to the conference tournament now is driving them to get there and then make a statement. And, um, of course, those teams that were there, Bryant actually played very, very well. We want to wish them the best of luck in regionals. Um, but our team learned great experience, and, and hopefully they just have fun with it like they did this year. And last question, obviously pitching is so important. Reiner will be back, of course, but Lauren Stavro, Cheryl Lopez, how important will they be to the success of the team next year pitching from the circle? Well, I, you know, I hope our younger players learned a lot from watching Megan on the mound and the, and the confidence she exudes on the mound. And Lauren, you know, of course, was a second team all conference player year before. She'll come back with a with a vengeance. And I think Cheryl and actually Maddie Lerma will add significantly to our pitching staff and they'll give us opportunities to win more games because they'll have a little bit more under their belt.
Coach, as always, thanks so much. Congrats on a great season and good luck on the offseason and into next year. Thanks, Jonathan. I appreciate all your efforts and your coverage. And we couldn't have asked for anybody better. Oh, no problem. So that will do it for us for this season for the FDU Softball Report. But we'll be back next year. So always stay tuned for any updates, news, and notes as we look forward to next spring and another season of Fairleigh Dickinson Softball.